one in six homes right now is bought by an institutional investor, right? And that's for, for long-term rentals. But, you know, the, the company was approached by an, an institutional investor that said, you know, we think the 30 to 90 day specifically, 30 to 90 day rental space is going to be more insulated from the recession than a lot of the other uh, sections of real estate. And just so you guys know, I think right now, 80 or maybe more than 80%, I don't know. I know the last time I looked, it was 80% of the rentals on Airbnb were over a month. So more than 30 days. Right. So this institutional investor came uh, and said, look, uh, we think this space is largely insulated from recessions and things because people are still going to be traveling and they still are going to need somewhere to live and somewhere to be. So furnished rentals long term, I think, are, are going to have a, uh, a longer expiration date, if you will. Well, I mean, this, this entire thing with COVID has changed so much with people. I think this like it's been a thing for a while, but I think it just has shown a light on this digital nomad space right the ability to work sort of from anywhere for a lot of people and Absolutely. going for two three months and, and still doing your job and still working from place but living place to place oh, I have people the that travel have... nurse program a lot of these other things that exist anyway but yeah i have people that have moved full-time to be nomads just traveling around and uh they're they're not planning to stop that anytime soon <laughs> No, you know, well, the, the, our company looks at spaces like that, too. I mean, that's that's across a lot of different industries. It's really interesting, whether it be apartment rentals or multifamily or vacation rentals. I mean, that that digital nomad space and, 